Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this week's One of Dev blog, a fairly short one this week, about the upcoming changes to maps. And although it doesn't show us all the maps here, I believe they're reworking a lot of them. So first up is improved defensive zones. So the first thing on the list, we're going to improve specific defensive areas of our maps. Certain battlefields have an overload of choke points, which result in tactical traffic jams. The superimposition of these sectors, placed such as forest or towns, makes it much harder for players to read the actual terrain. That's a major imbalance, both confusing and creating uneven combat situations. That's why we've made an effort to pass the magic wand to de-block or update terrain that was considered too narrow, or in the case of Death Row or Mount River, streamline excessively dense areas. I will note, I realise it's quite hard to tell from these little gifts they've provided, but basically they've adjusted the tree lines or removed a lot of them and shrunk some of the bigger forests and taken chunks out of them and adjusted buildings and things so that it's not quite as cramped. So the next subheading is improved urban district layout. So another improvement coming to Warner's maps is an upgraded size of urban districts. As you can imagine, during the game's early access, successive battlefield updates led to disparities in the size of these districts, some being too small, others too large. These variations made selecting units inside neighbourhoods too challenging, forcing everything to be a bit finickety as you tried to move things around. This is less than intuitive in terms of experience, so we set out to standardise all urban districts currently present within the game. And again, you can see they provided this gif of death row here. I will note that it's very hard to tell about districts or anything from it, but you can see in the far side of the map, there's been adjustments to all of the tree lines. So just bear that in mind. That's the ones at the edge, the forests at the edge of the map. We'll see it better on the next gif. The next subheading is standard reinforcement times. So... A significant update coming to Warno is standardizing reinforcement times across the battlefields. It's not as simple as it sounds. It involves redesigning the reinforcement routes on the edge of the map and repositioning certain command zones. Several maps either had too long or too fast reinforcement arrival times. And also increase unit losses because you haven't got enough at the front line to hold or to reinforce or resupply. The same approach to more balanced urban districts was used, standardising the reinforcement times makes it more predictable when units will arrive. It's actually something I notice on some maps, you'll see me when I'm streaming the game sometimes, I'll be like, oh, that's taking an awfully long time to get to the front, and it's very noticeable on some maps compared to others. And while you can say you sort of have to try and adapt to that, I guess to standardise it makes it easier for everybody, not just those of us who play the game a lot. The next subheading is visual tweaks, so updating the maps also allowed us to improve their graphical rendering. Some of the battlefields have a bit of a dull haze to them, which we have corrected. In the same vein, we worked on making vegetation and mountain textures visually more pleasing and realistic. And the final game-related subheading is command zone updates. So lastly, on certain maps, we've modified the placement and size of command zones, See below for some examples. They say some examples, they just mean a single map's example, but there you go, there is a GIF, so you can have a look at that as well. The last thing to talk about here is a reminder about the DEFCON 2 tournament. It's now into the finals, and the finals and the third place match will take place between the 5th and 7th of April, and will be streamed live on the War Yes Twitch channel, so you can check that out over the weekend. They have a little bit of a reminder about the milestone that's already out now, but that is everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.